Hey there guys, it's Lee here, welcome to iMine Blocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine Tron with your AMD or Nvidia GPUs. Now, let's continue on. This is not a trolling video. I'm not, um, I'm not playing any games with you or anything like that. It is serious. Um, so let's jump into it and I'll show you exactly how it works. So I was actually going through uh, Twitter, uh, just going through the, um, the GPU mining um, hashtag and just to kind of see what was going on. And I stumbled across this um, website and actually it's more, it's more than a website, it's, um, it's a platform. So it's tron-mining.com. Uh, effectively what it has uh, allows you to do is you can mine um, two different um, algorithms. You can mine either Etash, which is normally used for Ethereum, or you can use a Kryptonite, which is uh, was previously in the past used for Monero uh, based coins or Kryptonite coins. So what this um, service does is it allows you to mine uh, like you normally would Ethereum. It's going to uh, take those Ethereum rewards, use it on their pool, then they're going to exchange it and pay it back to you in Tron. So that's how the uh, process works. There's a few other like multi-mining platforms that you might have seen in the past that allow you to do similar sort of things and this works on the same sort of principles. And um, they've got a Reddit post here which kind of explains a little bit in more detail. But essentially you mine using Ethereum, it gets converted and paid back to you in Tron. So that, that's the simple explanation of it. So yes, technically Tron is not mineable in itself. It is a POS coin, but using this process is kind of like an auto exchange kind of mechanism that allows it to all work quite easily and simply. So that's what I'm going to be showing you um, in this video. There is a Tron mining calculator. So this is something that you might want to check out uh, first before we show you, uh, I actually show you how to get started with the mining. So there is this mining calculator. Um, I've got a GTX uh, 1080 Ti. Uh, using the ETH pill, you can mine at around about 50 mega hashes. So we enter our hash rate in here and it gives us a estimate which says 30 Tron per day. So what I wanted to show you is how that kind of uh, differentiates uh, compared to if I was just mining Ethereum directly. So we've got our Tron price here, so it's trading at just over two cents. So on that sort of basis, we'll probably be earning in a day on a dollar basis around about 65 cents, something of that order. So if we take a look at what to mine, and we've already selected our details, so it's a 1080 Ti, 50 mega hashes, 190 watts. Uh, power cost doesn't really come into effect, really, I just wanted to show you the uh, revenue. And then you can see here the, the revenue here, if we mined Ethereum on NiceHash, would be about 75 cents. So based on the difference between the calculator um, times by the uh, the price uh, compared to what we're shown here, it looks like there's going to be probably around between sort of 10 and 15% difference in earnings um, if you compare it on a dollar basis. Now, I haven't um, started mining yet, so I don't know exactly what the 24 hour result is gonna uh, produce. It could be more, it could be less, but it's just to make you aware that there's obviously gonna be quite a big difference between what you would earn mining directly a coin versus using this kind of this Tron mining system. But going back to the main website, the real point of this uh, website or platform is a very simple way for you guys to earn Tron if you don't wanna mess around with um, exchanges and all sorts of things like and pools and all sorts of stuff like that so it just makes it a bit more simpler okay now I'll show you how to actually get mining uh, with the miner we're going to be using the Claymore's dual Ethereum miner so we've got that in this little folder over here I'll put all the links and everything that you need in the video description um, I'm already running the ETH pill um, I'll link to that in the video description for you as well that just helps you to get the best performance if you've got a 1080 Ti or or something similar. So we need to open up the folder for the Claymore Dual Fury Miner. This is version 12. And I've already got some batch files. Again, I'll link in the description if you need to help getting started with the batch files and such. And if we open up my Ethereum only batch file. So this is what your standard Ethereum mining kind of might look like. So we've got the call to the miner. And then we've got the Ethereum pool We've got my Ethereum address and a worker nickname and no password or, or a default password if you like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize this and we're gonna make it into one that's um, good to mine on the Tron mining pool. So the first thing that we need is we're gonna be obviously mining uh, the Ethereum Etash algorithm and then we're gonna be using this pool address. So if we go back 
and we're just going to swap out the ether mine address or the pool address for the Tron mining address. So you can see we just pasted that in there, um, all the way included in the port address. Next up, we need our Tron address. So I've got that handily over here. So I'm just going to copy that. And then we're going to swap this Ethereum address out with a Tron address. And then we've just got a worker nickname, which is there. Um, the other thing that you need to add is this all pools one option um, that allows the the miner to swap and mine altcoins um, without basically breaking. So then we want to go to file and save as. So we'll start, we'll give it a new name, dot bat, and then change that to all files when you save it. And then we want to save. So we can close these text files. And uh, let's just minimize the browser. Sorry, that was running in the background. So now we should have a yeah, batch file there and we are ready to start up. I'll just open up Afterburner so you can kind of see it running. And if we start up the Tron, so we'll just double click it to start. So the miner started up, obviously a GTX 1080 Ti. Um, using the MSI Afterburner, you can see I've got a minus 200 clock and a plus 400 memory clock boost uh, with a custom fan profile. Uh, we are using the ETH pill, so normally it gets about 50, but because I'm using the um, the screen recorder, um, it will be slightly slower. So that's up and running, and in just a moment or two, we should start seeing some accepted shares, which means the miner is working properly and reporting back to the pool. Uh, the other thing that you can check as well is um, your earnings on the pool. So if we take our Tron address again, and if we go back to the pool or the platform, and if we go to check address, and we enter our Tron address, you can use this and you should start seeing some results. Um, I've obviously only just started with it, so you probably need to leave it at least about 10 minutes or so before you start seeing um, some results. So uh, what I'll actually do is um, give me one minute. I'll mine for 10 minutes and I'll just refresh this and just quickly show you guys how that looks. Okay, it's been nine minutes, so we'll have a um, some updated stats by now. Open up the browser again, and if we just refresh it, we should see the current statistics. Okay, so it didn't actually change. I checked it just a minute ago. So it says that uh, estimated rewards are 43 uh, Tron per day. That's slightly higher than the calculator. But if we look further down, it's because the hash rate, it's picking up the hash rate a little bit higher. So obviously with a little bit more time, this will balance out and it will kind of uh, work itself out. But just to show you your kind of uh, rewards and earnings and things like that, it also shows you your uh, payments. I believe the minimum payment is 15 Tron. It does say that it pays out daily, but you're obviously going to have to uh, meet that 15 minimum as the, sorry, as the minimum quota before they do that daily payout. So uh, make a note of that. Okay guys, gonna leave it here for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did like it, give it a like if you did. If you like this type of content, then subscribe if you're not uh, a subscriber already. Any questions or comments, put those down below. Of course, I'll put all the links and everything you need um, down there as well to help you get started. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.